but I'm here today, and today I decided we're gonna do a little something different on Twitch today, and we're gonna be, um, a little, I'm just gonna be doing my makeup and chatting to people if they wanna chat with me, because I decided I just wanted to do my makeup today. I already used my e.l.f. Uh, Bella Mesh Control Primer. I already put on some of my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water-Based Liquid Foundation with my beautiful Beauty Blender. Um, I have a little mirror over here, which I should probably grab a bigger mirror. It is what it is. We're going to use what we brought. Alrighty, and we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of contouring. Uh, I don't always use liquid, so I'm just gonna be, I'm mostly doing bronzer, highlighter, blush. We got our beautiful Tarte bronzer and chocolate diamond. We got our cute little brush. I probably should have grabbed a palette or something with a bigger mirror. That's fine. It's our first time doing this, like, not in my bathroom. So we go ahead and add our bronzer. I do love this little light, though. This little light that I bought for my desk is like such a game changer. It literally just clips right on my desk and I feel like it makes it so much brighter in here. I feel like I know that like people can't notice that I broke my nose. But to me personally, like every time I like go and put like bronzer or do anything with my nose, I feel like that's when I see it the most. Cause I felt like I had such a straight nose and then like right here, you can see it goes <laughs> where I broke it. I'm sure I could get it fixed eventually one day. One day I'll have the money to fix my jacked up broken jaw. Uh, my jacked up, messed up, crooked jaw, and my jacked up, messed up, crooked nose. I have hurt myself so many times, it's kind of ridiculous. It's super funny though, honestly. I know it looks a little dark right now, but don't worry. We haven't even started blending yet. So we got a little bit of bronzer. We're going to add some highlighter, which I have this Kat Von D highlighter. I swear I brought another one out here. Might have lost it, I don't know. See, it has all these really pretty, like, colors. I know that this looks, like, super white, but, like, they're di clearly different colors. You just got to believe me on that one. So, um, I kind of want to do some blue. Actually, no, let's do some violet highlight here. I don't know I'm opening a separate mirror. This has a mirror on it. A little special. A little bit here to the tip of my nose. This light is making it look super purple. Like just the angle that the light is in. Because to, I'm telling you, it does not look like I put that much on right now. Don't worry, we still got to blend. Because I know I'm going to look super crazy for a little bit. Right now we're just shaping the face. I'm literally making a huge mess. I'm like knocking this powder everywhere. And then I just have my little roll technique brush. Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta put my blush on too. I just have a little NYX pink. Pink blush. 
add a little bit of color. I've never done makeup on this camera before, so I feel like it's making me look even crazier than normal. I'm gonna take our little buff buffing brush and blend this all out across our face for the bronzer, the highlighter, the regular foundation. I know it looks like I'm being like really rough. I've had people tell me that, but like I'm literally barely touching my face. We're just gonna set everything in place. I have a little bit of um, Revolutions little baking powder and translucent just to kind of set everything here. I'm in Texas, so like it gets super hot and I just get super sweaty. So I use a lot more powder stuff than liquid stuff because it doesn't get like super cakey and gross, like especially in the hot weather. At least for me, anyway, that's what works for me. And throw that over there. And my nose kind of itches. And I have some, uh, I'm almost done with it, but it's like Morphe's peach settling spray that they had for last summer. It smells so good. I oh, just sprayed it all in my mouth. And yet I keep talking. I'm getting more in my mouth. <laughs> I kind of want more of that one. Uh, I did really like the Jeffree Star Starberry or Strawberry, whatever. Uh, that one smelled really good too. But personally, I'm a, I'm a big peach person. And then um, we're going to go ahead and do the brows. I'm going to brush them out a little bit first just because I always get a little bit of foundation in them. So I feel like they look pretty light. And I have a... Because like, they just look a lot darker when like I brush them out. Like You can see a big difference. I feel like I have really nice brows and then I look at my brother's eyebrows and his are like perfectly shaped like they have like a an arch where they're like this and then they have like such a sharp dramatic arch I'm so jelly but I'm super excited I'm gonna see he's gonna be here tomorrow it'll be a really short visit because he'll be leaving he'll be leaving at five in the morning coming down here he won't be getting here till like 10 because he lives in Dallas and um so it's a it's quite a bit of a drive it's literally like almost six hours and it can be maybe five if you don't stop to go to the bathroom or eat or anything during that time and you happen to get super lucky and not get any traffic. So we're hoping that it'll be like around 10. Just gonna fill these in just a little tiny bit. I just like to add a little bit of color. I don't like reshape them or do anything fancy. Like I literally just and make them a little darker and follow my exact already natural shape of my eyebrows. All these people that do all that extra stuff with the line stuff, I don't know how to do it. I like sweet, simple, and straight to the point. And I'm just gonna brush them again, blend it just a little better. I know my hair is a hot mess too. It kind of looks like I have a, like, a jacked up bow. <laughs> and it's just my jacked up ponytail, you know. And then, actually, you know what? I'm gonna add a little extra highlight. You know, why not? Let's, let's sparkle. Um, I have uh, this two faced fresh squeeze, it's a pink grapefruit. I'm gonna come into this cute little dropper and try not to make a mess with it. Cause 
couple drops there. Just dab it out. Put a little drop here. <laughs> and dump that out too. And then I'll just use a little bit of residual on my finger. I'm sorry, I just realized I was using my middle finger. I'm so sorry. Did not mean to be giving anyone the finger. The ear. On the chin. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. I'm sorry. <laughs> And then uh, we're using some of my Morphe lipstick. It's like my favorite shade. It's in the color Peanut. I suggest it to everyone. I had actually um, gotten one from my mom a while back because she, like, she loved the color so much and I was wearing it all the time. And I was like, come on, let, I'll let you borrow it. And she's like, no, Miha, the color won't look good on me either. And she tried it and it looked like I told her it would be really pretty on her skin tone too. And so I got her her very own. And even my cousin was like asking me uh, for lipstick suggestions. You know, this is one of my, my top suggestions for her. I hope everyone's having a good day. Anyone that decides to stop by. I love this lip color. It's like literally one of my favorites. I definitely need to get more of it though. And then we're gonna add some like really colorful eyeshadow because why not? I love being colorful. First, we gotta put on some uh, eyeshadow primer. I like this one from NYX. It's like a little pot, and it's this uh, really shimmery like pearl color just because it has some lustrous sparkle. And you know, white helps the colors really pop. So. Right. I have no idea what colors I want to use yet. We'll figure that out. I normally do not have a plan for my makeup. I just kind of go with what what uh, attack, attracts my eye. And I have my Lisa Frank super colorful palette. So we got some really good colors to work. Um, honestly, I also don't know what I'm going to wear because I haven't fully gotten dressed. I'm still wearing what I went to sleep in, which is like a t-shirt and some workout pants. Even though I work my, ent my entire shirt that I work from home, so. That's a thing. <laughs> uh, I still need to put on some, like, jeans or some real people clothes, you know. Mm. Let's see. What color, what color? I'm kind of leaning towards purple. I think purple might be a good like crease color, like base color. Now I just gotta figure out if I want like a purpley pink, like mauve purple, a deep purple, a plum purple, a violet. Like I do not know. This one was like really sparkly, like pretty purple. It's kind of like pinky purple. Mm -hmm. It's called Dashley. I think I might try that color. It looks super pretty to me. Take it with our big fluffy brush. I always start in the outer corner and just blend it. Little circles all the way kind of inward. It's just such a pretty color. I love it. So bright. I'm actually going to take it and like put a little bit down here. Underneath. Just a little bit. Add a little bit of extra color. I 
every side do the same thing on the other side, you know. Try and be symmetrical. I love the little extra sparkle from the eyeshadow primer. It's like a really fine sparkle, so I feel like you can't see it that much. Well, can you see it a little bit right there? <laughs> I really hope this music isn't too loud. I try to go with something like really like chill. This is like honestly the kind of music I listen to like while I'm walking around the house or like trying to go to sleep or like doing laundry or something. I love this purple color. It's just so pretty looking. Such a pretty purpley pink color. And then we're gonna take a really light color, probably like this middle, like yellowy color. Rory, this one right here. And we're gonna use that to highlight the, like the inner corners of our eyeballs right here towards our tear ducts. I really don't know what to call it other than like inner corner of the eyeball. I know like your tear ducts right there, but you're not sticking it like right on the inside of your eyeball, so. The place I'm putting the brush on, where I have the brush at, I don't know. It's really funny because like I'm so used to talking like this when I record like for YouTube, but I normally just cut out the random weird parts in between and just like, like I'll do one eye and I'll be right back and like I just keep talking to myself. And let's see. I have a handy dandy cup of brushes. Or a specific brush. More for out though. Oh, it's right here. It's literally right in front of my face. I like this like kind of square brush for like the dark corners. Then we go like with there's like this really dark like kind of like brownish color right here. I'm gonna use that for like the dark crease color. Take this down here in the corner. And then just kind of blend it out a little bit into the crease. Just a little bit, not all the way because we want to keep a lot of this purple color, you know? I don't know why I really like this music. Dun, 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 dun. I've been really wanting to paint too, paint lately. I can't help it. I have to do it. It's like a, a compulsion to blow on the brush. I have to clean them a lot more. But, you know, it is what it is. I think I'm gonna need to straighten my hair when I'm done with this. Like, I have my brush off to go grab my straightener. It'll be fun. I need to color it. I wanna do something with it. My brother had messaged me and was talking about uh, that I should go red again, like, make my hair red. I think it'd be super cute. I love red. 
I'm kind of feeling yellow. I think I'm going to do like the main color right here, yellow. And there's this really pretty yellow right here. See it? I love yellow eyeshadow. It's always so much fun. Bring me some yellow eyeshadow, dude. <laughs> I should move my camera just a little bit. That's a little better, right? Maybe? Possibly? Oh no, I tried mint. Dun, dun, dun. Just a little more yellow. I love this color, you know? So cute. <laughs> I love it so much. I kind of want to add a little bit of like blue like underneath my eye because I got the purple right here so like add just like a small little smidgen of like the super bright blue color you don't see it it's such a pretty color blue is just one of my favorite colors that's probably why So gotta do um so we put away the eyeshadow palette because we're done with the eyeshadow for now and we still gotta get do the add them wings so uh this is my favorite um liquid eyeliner it is the nyx epic ink liner if i can open it pen my favorite ever um i usually use this actually not to just do regular eyeshadow but when i do like when I was doing like more crazy special effects kind of makeup, I'd use this to like draw everything out. So I literally just take this at the corner and just draw a straight line down. And I go straight back up to the top corner and draw that back out too. And then I just fill that in. So now I have the corner of my wing super easy and then we just take this pen and follow it straight along the shape of my eyeball I also take little breaks because I, I blink a lot so I do it in a whole bunch of little parts Beautiful. Such a cute, perfect little wing. I kind of want to make it thicker though. I just realized my makeup's giving me like some serious Sally vibes. Right? All I need is like to add the little stripes and the patches. I don't know, I'm like my mind just migrated to those colors. Maybe I should have done like a green lipstick or something, I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna do the same thing. Literally just take this, draw the straight little line down to the corner of your eye. Fill that top.
I love doing wing eyeliner. And then it's time for mascara. I always do like at least two kinds of mascara. This one is something that my aunt sent me. It's called Thrive Cuts from Thrive. If I can speak English, Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension. This is actually like a really heavy, like weighted, like bottle. I've never had such a heavy thing of mascara before. And it just has like a cute regular little brush. But it really lengthens your eyelashes, and then like it, it builds up really easy. So it's supposed to look like fake lashes for the liquid lash extension effect. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like a lot of beauty uh, advertisements are super ridiculous. So I don't know why. Like my brain is like has to do a really ridiculous voice for it, where it sounds like I'm almost ready for like monster truck. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday! Or is it only Friday? I don't know. I feel like you know what I mean. With explosions. I just kind of keep brushing it on over and over again. Make sure they're all kind of evenly coated. Can't forget about the little ones over here in the corner either. I feel like I have really long eyelashes. It's just that they do not want to stay curled. Ever. I've tried like heated ones, all that other stuff, and I'm just like, whatever. It's fine. I'll just stay a little salty about them forever. I always do the little ones too. Like, I know a lot of people think it's super weird that I put mascara on my bottom lashes, but I was like, uh, but then how are you gonna see them? They're so tiny. And they're super long and cute, and then with the eyeshadow underneath, they pop even more. I don't know, I just dab myself in the eye. I may have gotten a little bit of mascara in my eye, that's fine. It happens. It happens. The dip. I love that popping sound it makes when you like when you pull it out. That vacuum seal. Doo -doo. I feel like it does not take me that long to do my makeup. Like right now, I just keep stopping and talking and I'm not really in a rush. It's only been like 30 minutes. I don't know how people spend like four hours doing their makeup. I feel like that's just boyfriends exaggerating how long it takes. Then again, I do have a friend that takes a long time to get ready. But I think it's just because she also has really long thick hair, like she literally spends forever trying to just get it sort of dry. I mean, I couldn't do less, spend less time doing uh, my mascara and just throw in some fake lashes. That does not take long at all. Honestly, I haven't done fake lashes in a while, but I feel like it'd be like putting them on for the first time again, or like having to figure out how to like wait for the glue to be dry enough and not like accidentally, or like let them dry too long and get super cakey, or put them on like super crooked, or accidentally get super, or the eyelash glue in my eye. I may or may not have done that before. Dun, dun. Oh. 
I feel like my nose is just a little shiny, so just dab it a little tiny bit. There's still a little bit of residual baking powder on here. Not like baking powder you cook with, like baking face powder. Yeah. <laughs> I bake. I have both. <laughs> yep, so I'm pretty much done. Oh no, I was gonna put on a- I always like to finish off with a waterproof mascara, which I love this, uh, Lash Paradise mascara. It's like by L'Oreal. I think it's L'Oreal. Pretty sure. The other ones that are usually next to me blame me. It's this dude, we can't miss it. It's, it's pink with the gold line. I don't know why I said line like that, my mouth looks super weird. I would like to do waterproof just over it, just because, like, you never know, you're going to sneeze, get stuck in the rain, or get, like, super sweaty or something, you don't want to look like a raccoon. Well, I mean, if you like the raccoon look, I mean, maybe. Or, like, just have mascara, like, look like you were sobbing, like, streaks running down your face. Not kidding. I'm not about that look. Okay, there we go. Now I'm done. Isn't my makeup super cute? Now I just need to get dressed and fix my hair so the rest of me looks less like a hot mess. Look at this hair. Look. I look a hobo. I just washed my hair yesterday. Was it yesterday? What's today? That Friday? Wednesday. And it's already like looks super shiny and greasy and it's a hot mess. It is getting longer though. Look at that. Look at that. I was really bored and I either cut it or like dye it some crazy color. So I'll be right back. I have, I already have my brush here. Um, I need to grab um, some dry shampoo and my straightener so I can plug it in and I can straighten my hair. Cause it's a hot mess. Hot, hot to miss. Honestly, just, I could probably just brush it, but I felt like being extra. I didn't feel like curling it though. So instead of being like hella extra, we're just gonna be a little extra. Extra and just brush. Just instead of just straight brushing it, we're gonna straighten it and brush it. We'll, we'll be extra fancy. And again, thanks so much for being a follower and coming to chat with me. I really appreciate it. And so does Octavia the Octopus. And have a good night. <laughs> Bye.